Hello everyone, this is Devin, returning for part 19 of Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Um, before I get started, um, I have a friend who's supporting me a whole bunch throughout this Let's Play. Um, she's always leaving a like and everything. She's in Missouri right now, I just want to give a shout out to her. She knows who she is, so I don't want to give names or anything in case people want to stalk people down. But knowing her, she probably wouldn't mind being stalked. So, anyway, um, in the last episode... We learned a lot about what's going on with um, our friend Mute um, using this world to his advantage to get back with his um, dead mother. It isn't really his mother, but his vision of what she was. So, a lot of stuff going on, and his dad is abusing it as well by becoming the, um, the head judge master of the world. So, a lot of stuff going on. Um, I believe this will actually be another story episode, um, because I believe when we go into town, there's, um, a bit of story. Actually, um, no, there isn't, so we don't have to worry. Sometimes when you go into a place, oh, I know what it is. Uh, anyway, so, the, the, the laws have also gotten stronger. Um, here's some things that you guys can read. Just pause it if you're uh, keeping up with the story. It's, tell it's talking more about the crystals and such. And, uh, heaven forbid, by the order of cream rem er, <laughs> cream, Queen Remedy, laws are getting tougher once again. Protest um, movements have already started in some clans. The reason given for this latest strengthening of the laws is to maintain public order. This is likely a reaction to the recent surge in clan warring. Oh, pfft. Yeah, right. Stop making the laws stronger. It's already complicated enough. And our heroes, huh? The members of Clan Nutsiers are our heroes. Go show those Borzai clanners who's boss. So apparently we did something. I might have done something off screen. I think I um, saved a village or something. It, it, it was a dispatch. Er, it was actually a mission to free Sproam. Um, Clan Borzai was there and we took them out. It, it was a very uneventful battle, as they had like three people. Um, let's see here. So that's explaining the uh, totemas. Um, okay, good. Enough of that. Let's gra grab a mission and start doing something, shall we? Hmm. Oh, okay, no, I know what we have to do next. This is going to be a story episode because we need to go here to the new town. I can't believe they're strengthening the laws again. What's new? The palace is always doing that. I swear, the queen takes pleasure in watching us squirm. Hey, hey, watch what you're saying. You never know who might be listening. Oh, I love this music, too. <laughs> the new law's bothering you, too, hey? Ha, pretty soon, laws will be nothing but a bad memory. How can you be so sure? I thought laws were everything in Ivalis. True. But there's a way around everything, my boy. Hey, have you heard that rumor? You mean about Izel Barber and or Bur Burbier and his anti laws? It's hard to believe that anyone can nullify a law. Yeah, but if you could, just imagine. That would be pretty sweet. Nullify a law. Precisely. And Izel Berbier figured out how to do it? He certainly did, but if you want to meet him, forget it. He's a busy man with many admi <laughs> admirers, shall we say. Seem to know a lot about him. Fame has always fascinated me, you see. Ah, sorry, I have to run. I have an appointment to keep interesting man just you know telling us all about this but no fine laws any laws I'd sure like to meet that Azel guy you guys are probably thinking something in your mind aren't you 
Don't do that. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so... Huh, I wonder what all this is about. Interesting. So, let's go to missions. Huh. So, if you normally see just, like, regular missions here, then you know that you have to visit somewhere. So, let's just go here, and what happens if we do this? Uh-oh. No, it's night time now. Hey, it's that guy. Hey, that's the... Oh, shoot. <laughs> he did something wrong. We gotta save him. He's our buddy. You can't run forever, Azel. Why don't you just turn yourself in quietly? No, I've never been good at sitting in one place for too long. Ooh, nice jump. Oh, shoot. We really gotta help him out. These guys are not happy about this. You overestimated your ability to escape this time. Genius. Well, these things happen. Life wouldn't be any fun if you always won. Seize him, and feel free to break whatever you want. Just keep his head in one piece. Please, take it easy on me. I'm a sensitive man, you know. Azel's really cool. That guy's Azel? I have to save him. Indeed we do. And honestly, even if he wasn't famous, I mean, come on. One, we get a fight. Two, we need to save people. We're, we're good guys, right? Right? <laughs> we did throw snowballs at Mute when he was, you know, not feeling so hot. Anyway. Let's, um... Let's get my... I need to level him up quite a bit. Now, we'll only be able to select uh, four characters, so... Actually... I really need a Mont Blanc in for this one. Actually, does he have a different gun? If he doesn't, then I'm not going to use him. And I don't think he does. No, so we're actually not going to use Mont Blanc again, even though... He's really good. Um, we're actually going to show off him. Alright. Um, what is the laws for today? Ugh, I keep forgetting. Select. Great swords and blades. Okay, we can do this. Anti-laws. Alright, we need to defeat all enemies. Let's save them, alright? And if I get my voices, like, messed up, because I'm, I'm kind of... I know I said that I wasn't going to do voices, but... Um, <laughs> obviously, that went down the tube. It makes it interesting, and I'm trying... Um, I'll get them mixed up sometimes. Like, I might use a different voice for somebody by accident. Oh, and there's a ninja. He's using his special ability. Let's move on in here. And let's make sure you're not going anywhere. As you can see, there are two laws now at a time than just one. So it's ugh, kind of obnoxious. Let's get this fighter. We're ambushing them. It's kind of cool. Sneaking up. It's funny how all of our clan members, do we all move together at the same time? Or do I have some kind of like bat signal to like get everyone to assemble at the same time and just teleport them in. I'm not sure how that works out. I think we're just one giant posse. Oh, good thing he's got block arrows. That's convenient. Oh, right. And we have our new character, the Dragoon. A Dragoon's jump is typically bigger than um, most classes. Now here comes our jump ability. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright. So you were as El... I don't know how to pronounce it. Burbier all, all along. Ah, oh, well, I guess the move was out of the bag. Who are these guys? Why are they after you? 
Just a little misunderstanding about a job. Asked for a hundred thousand gil and they called me a, <laughs> a googer. A gouger, I don't know. One hundred thousand gil? Yep, that's all it takes to make all the laws go away. Pretty cheap, really. <laughs> yeah, not cheap to us. We are not exactly made of money here. But don't worry, we got your back. Let's take out this gladiator. Did 22 damage to myself, but, you know, not a biggie. Nizel, come on. As off. Let's see what he's got up his sleeve. That looks like a pretty cool spell. Well, it targeted everyone, and what did it do exactly? Oh, look, he's asleep. Oh, so it makes everyone fall asleep. That's handy for getting away. Um, let's actually look at um, both of these characters real quick, because we actually have a new one that we haven't seen before. He's a hermetic, and he has um, hermetics. He has Azoth and um, block arrows. Let's see what this is. Secret alchemy. Puts all enemies to sleep. Oh, well, that's, that's not bad at all. Now on the top left, if we look up here, we have Julian, Julian, who is an illusionist. So illusionists are use phantasm um, magic to attack all enemies. So you need um, three white mage, five black mage abilities to be a illusionist. Illusionists are are really good in the sense that their MP is huge, their HP is low, their speed is low. Well, I, I know I'm saying all the negatives now. Uh, move is 3, jump is 2, evade is 30, but their magic power is incredible, their resistance is incredible, and their um, their ability to attack um, all enemies at once with a single magic spell, no matter where they are on the map, is a great asset. But um, I'll be having an illusionist down the road for a while, but I won't have it as my kind of like my main person, because I like... I like dealing out damage, but like as you can see, half the half their people are already dead on their first turn, and I haven't even used everyone yet. So, kind of pointless to have that if there's only three people still alive. And I'm just using magic hammer just to level up a little bit, just to grind along the way. Our defender gonna deal out massive, ugh, massive damage. I underestimated how strong bang, uh, bangas were. Not sure if it's bongas or bangas. I might switch off every now and then. So they have a ninja as well. Uh, we don't have our ninja on us though, but I'm gonna disable him as ASAP. It's good to disable the really fast characters because they tend to have really good abilities or a really good attack. They'll be weak, but when they are on the high ground, they can be dangerous, so you want to get them out of the way. Oh, and we also have a new character over here that I, I missed out on, a hunter. This is a hunter, it's basically the upgraded, oh, oh, ooh, oh, I want that, um, that armor. Do I have my ninja? No, I don't. Oh, man, I wasn't very smart. I didn't check everyone's Oh, oh, and he has double sword on, so actually, see, if you look into his abilities, he has a, a double sword ability, which means that he can equip two weapons at the same time. So he is dangerous. A magic ring. I just want to see what exactly I'm missing out on here, because I could have gotten some good stuff. Um, I could use that brigadine or whatever that is. And, yeah, that's about it. That's that, um, that Nike bow... I really want, and that um, Weigar is something that I want, but I'll be getting that uh, soon anyway, so no biggie. Now, since this person is asleep, oh wait, no, I already used my Rock Seal, so never mind, I'll just attack them. See, they have really low HP, really low defense, so they're really fragile. So, not too bad if I say so myself.
luckily we have block arrows as well, so that hunter is just kind of being um, not very helpful. Um, hunters, oh, I didn't explain hunters. So they're the upgraded form of um, archers and human warrior that can hunt monsters by a bow. So you need two archer abilities, and they have a great attack um, for an arch for ranged combat, and they do a ton of damage to monsters. Um, not a passive skill, but most of the abilities are specially trained to get monsters. They are um, also what you need to capture monsters. So if you ever want to put monsters in the monster bank, you need a hunter. I'll be getting one, obviously, later on. But um, hunters, uh, morphers are pretty much late game. This guy's still unable to move. I need to take him out soon, actually. I haven't even done any damage to him. And Zeal actually might go down here. I actually need to heal him. I think we're going to do that. A way to block off that path. Azil, you need to be more careful, huh? Use like a potion or something. Oh good, we got him. So he won't be dealing any damage. Alright, I need to get this guy. My blue mage still isn't exactly um, a, a high level yet, so he's still working his way up. Now hopefully I can disable him. Awesome. I just don't want him taking out his eel. Ninja versus Assassin. Sounds like a movie. Now we can take him out if we can hit him. Ugh. Let's attack from the side. Slippery little guy, ain't he? He better move. <laughs> just shows her ass to us. Alright, good. So he can just started to be able to move, but now he can't act. So I'm kind of toying with him. Now since he's asleep, everything will be 100% chance. So I'm actually going to take out his arm while he's um, asleep. I'm sure you'd wake up if you got, you know, like an arrow in your arm, but apparently it's just arrow in the arm. Oh, he's still snoozing. That must be some powerful sleep. I swear, if you use Azoth again, I think he's going to. Oh, no, he's not. This guy. Try to hit my assassin. I dare you. Oh, no, he's going to use some kind of ninja skill. <sighs> Water veal. Ninjas use veals. Basically, they do a very little amount of damage, but they also inflict status ailments. So there's about two or three that I really like from ninjas, but um, that's about it. There we go. Finally landed a hit on that bastard. Now, since my this guy was a black mage at the beginning, his, it's going to take him a while to, for his um, stats to kind of settle out. But luckily his MP is going to be a little bit higher and his resistance to magic will be a little bit higher, which is always good. And everybody might be wondering, oh, why is the Dragoon not doing a lot of damage? Because they actually have the highest attack of all the uh, Bangas. Um, 
He is kind of a low level, and the Javelin does not have a good uh, weapon or attack. I think it's like 20 or 20 something, maybe. So once he starts getting a little better weapons and he levels up a couple times, he'll be dealing massive damage. Oh, shown his ass to us. Alright, now I'm actually going to do some damage to him. I could take out his legs as well, but what's the point in that? Um, actually I will. I'll black him out. I didn't explain, or I actually didn't tell you guys, when you're um, blind, your evasion rate also goes down by 20. So it's easier for other people to hit you, and it's harder for you to hit other people, so it's kind of like a double, double whammy there. And she should be actually able to take them out. Can we rock seal them? No, we, we just have a little under what we need. Uh, let's see here. I'll actually do this, make sure he can't move. Do a little bit of damage. Not oh, right, awesome. And we should be able to take him out right here. Yep. Not much of a chance for that guy. <laughs> he did nothing this entire time, and he was in the best position to do a lot of damage. And let's take him out. Are you all right? I seem to be all here. Thanks for the help, eh? I swear they're in Canada. I think this game was made in Canada. Or the writers from, from Canada. Where are my matters? I've not introduced myself. I'm Azeel Berbier. <laughs> Berbier. <laughs> I'm at your service. Yes, yes, I know who you are. I'm Marsh. Had I more time, I'd like to thank you more properly. But as it is, I must be off. Someone else after you? Something like that. It's hard when everyone thinks that you're a genius. I heard that the new Mao call you an eccentric loony. <laughs> they only say that because they're jealous. This too is a burden we geniuses must bear. Okay, well here's Sid. That's not good with three Templar. We have yet to see who, what they are. Azil Berbier, I assume. The Judge Master himself. I am honored. Huh? Mute's dad is the Judge Master? Might I ask you to come with me? I'd like to hear more about these anti-laws of yours. I must respectively decline. Sorry, but judges rub me the wrong way. What? You just violate us with a card? Nah, an advanced law. Only the judge master can use those. If I use any ability at all, it's a slammer for me. I'm practically shaking in my boots. Ah, I'm glad you're familiar with anti-laws. Saves me the trouble of explaining them to you. And I do so dislike violence. I love their sarcasm here. Uzel. Sigh, I was hoping to avoid this. But I suppose a demonstration wouldn't hurt. Behold, the anti-law. Well, it's just teleports. 
he can even stop an, an advanced law? Hmm, maybe he's smarter than I thought. Back to the palace. I love these guys, They're just, they just kind of stand there and watch the whole thing and then just leave. Like, well that was kind of pointless. Gazelle, was that an anti-law? It sure was, it nullified the Judge Master's law. Allowing me to use whatever ability I wished. Wow, that's really something. Yes, you might say that I'm really something. <laughs> Narcissistic. <laughs> but to receive a visit from the Judge Master... Zell, are you sure you're not getting in over your head? No, 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 no. It is they who have crossed the line. Making all these laws without asking us what we think? Besides, annoying the judges with anti-laws is fun. That reminds me, I should tell you about my store. Your store? You run a store? For trading law cards, yes. It's still hush-hush. If there's a card you're looking for, drop on by. Sure thing. Thanks, Azel. All right, anti-law is cleared. 9,000 gil and 40 points. And an R2 anti-law. Hmm, interesting. So now we have these cards. And we're starting to level up a little bit with our clan. Um, shoot, where does Eisenfield go? I think it goes here. Um, hold on just one second, guys. You're, you're about to... Dun, 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 dun. Sorry about this. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I always have to look these up because... 18. Okay, I was close with this. All right. 18 is here. Or wait, 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 wait. No, now I forgot. Shoot. Okay, no, I'm glad that I didn't. It's right here. Phew. <laughs> Could have made a big mistake there. I don't want to have to re-record and everything. I'm um, sorry for all that. So, nice. So now we know about anti-laws. And um, we can not have to worry about laws as much. Which is a huge deal. Because laws are extremely annoying. So, I, I really don't want to deal with them. As would anybody, really. So, let's see here. Ice shield. Nice. So guys, this has been episode 19. Um, we're getting a lot of story in the way, so that's great. Um, but this time for sure, on the next episode, we'll be um, doing some missions. Um, I'll be doing some dispatch missions um, off screen. I'll actually read some of them to you. Um, the dispatch missions, they're fun to read sometimes, but not so much to watch because you're not really doing anything. Oh, do I really want to read all these? Oh, shoot. We have a lot of missions to do. Well, I do. Um, the dispatch missions are part of the 300 missions, but if you guys don't mind, I will just be showing you the ones that have to do with the battle. Um, if you guys need any help um, with the missions, like suppose you're trying to do all 300 missions and you have an emulator, or you actually have the Game Boy Advance, um, you can just com comment on the bottom, send me a message. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how the whole Facebook message system works, so it's better if you leave a comment. And then, um, and then one, um, other people can also see it, and um, I can answer your question, I guarantee it. Um, because something really special happens when you do all 300 missions. Um, of course, you can Google it right now, but... Let's wait until the Let's Play, shall we? That'd be really awesome because it's it's kind of a surprise. So if you guys already know, don't don't spoil it in the comments, please. So anyway, this has been episode 19 of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Advance with Devin. Um, with me, I should say. I should say that more. It's getting annoying saying Devin. And uh, I'm debating whether to be called Eskimo Berber or not, but what whatevs. I don't know how many other... I don't know if I'm going to be doing other Let's Plays. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing this one and finishing it because I've seen online um, other people, they, they haven't finished it. And what's the point of starting, you know, and then, like, leaving people hanging on, on the story? So 
Um, and then other ones that I've seen, they, they haven't done the 100%. So um, I want to make sure that I'm doing a good job uh, with this for you guys. And um, I hope you guys have a good one. All right. Uh, peace out.